You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Compost. Caillou loves spending the day with his grandma. He especially loved looking for treasures in her attic. Oh. <laughs> grandma, look! I'm a magician! Abracadabra! Let me fix this up for you. Caillou was excited about being a magician. He wanted to do really amazing things. You look very dashing. How about practicing your magic outside while I do my yard work? Okay. This is certainly making a mess on the lawn. Abracadabra! They disappeared! Hooray! They certainly have. Abracadabra! Flowers grow! I think this kind of magic doesn't happen right away. Plant magic takes a long time. Do you think you could make a lunch disappear? Yes. Grandma, would you like a banana? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Abracadabra! It disappeared! What a good trick! I know another one. I'm going to turn this soup into mush. Abracadabra! Bravo! Caillou knew lots of little magic tricks, but he wanted to come up with something really amazing to show everyone. I'll throw this in the garbage for you, Grandma. Uh-uh. That's not garbage. But it's all gushy and yucky. I need it for my garden. Your garden? Come on, I'll show you. garbage can? No, it's a composter. I put in food scraps like fruit and vegetables and breadcrumbs and eggshells. But no meat and no dairy. That means no cheese or milk. I throw in grass clippings too and a little water. It must be really yucky in there. Ah, but that's the surprising thing. Inside this composter, all the messy, gooey stuff turns into something totally different. Like a magic trick? <laughs> yes, it is rather like a magic trick. Would you like to see what it turns into? Yes, please. It's dirt. All those things turn into dirt? It's not dirt. It's called compost, and it takes weeks and weeks to happen. A composter makes compost. That's right. Compost is nice, rich soil that helps my plants to grow. It's like plant food. Wow! And by putting food scraps into my composter, I'm sending less garbage to the garbage dump. That is the best magic trick ever! <laughs> it sure is. Caillou couldn't wait to try this magic trick out himself. Caillou, what are you up to? I'm going to show you the best magic trick ever. Potato skins, bread crusts, corn, 
but no cheese. That's dairy. <laughs> Nessie! What kind of magic trick is this, Caillou? I'm gonna change all of this yucky stuff into plant food. Oh, we need to get a composter to do this trick. Hmm, I'm not sure why, but okay, Caillou. very hard for weeks and weeks, but everything looked just the same. He was starting to think his magic trick wouldn't work at all. You're doing wonderfully, Caillou. Just remember, plant magic takes a long time. Better give it one more month. Okay. Caillou waited for a whole month. It seemed like days and days. 30 days, to be exact. Yeah! But the wait was finally over. Come on, everybody! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I can't wait to see this. Caillou was very excited to show everyone his big magic trick. But he was a little worried, too. What if it didn't work? It's time for the best magic trick ever! Turning food and grass and leaves and water into compost. That's plant food. Abracadabra compost! Caillou hoped he wouldn't find just gooey food in there. Ta-da! How wonderful! Hooray for Caillou the Amazing! I didn't really do anything. Sure you did, Caillou. You worked especially hard to make this trick work. You really are Caillou the Amazing. For my next trick, I'm going to use my new compost to grow flowers. Caillou felt proud. It had taken a long time to perfect his plant magic, but it was worth it. Rosie were having lots of fun playing with their balloon. Ow! <laughs> I'll get it, Rosie. <laughs> Mommy, what are Daddy and that workman doing to our tree? Daddy and Mr. McFarlane are cutting it down, Caillou. Cutting it down? But I like that tree. Tweet? I like that tree, too. But remember when we had that big storm? I'm afraid our tree was damaged when it was struck by lightning. Caillou did remember. The thunder was very loud, and the lightning made the sky very bright. Now the tree needs to be cut down so it won't fall and damage the house. But what are they going to do with the tree? Well, we'll use some of it for firewood. But where are all the birds and squirrels going to live? Caillou was upset. He didn't want to see the old tree come down. Rosie, on the other hand, thought this was all very interesting. <laughs> tree fall down! Phew! That was good exercise. Why the long face, Caillou? Caillou was feeling a little sad about the old tree. Oh, I see. I know what'll cheer you up. I'm going somewhere special today. And you can come with me while Rosie has her nap. Caillou liked the idea of going somewhere special with Daddy. Can Rexy come too? Sure. 
I don't see why not. Roar! <laughs> We're almost there, Caillou. The tree farm is just around the corner. Tree farm? I didn't know we were going to a tree farm. <laughs> I didn't even know there were farms for trees. Yes, it's kind of like the nursery where Mommy buys her plants, only they grow many big trees there. Are we getting a new tree, Daddy? We'll see. Here we are. Caillou was surprised to see so many trees. There were trees in every size, shape, and color. <laughs> now it really feels like we're in a jungle, Rexy. Can I help pick out a tree, Daddy? Of course. Come with me. What kind of tree are we gonna get, Daddy? Hmm, well, perhaps one that provides some shade in the summer, so we'll have somewhere cool to sit. Can we get one that the birds and squirrels will like? Sure. Trees make great homes for wildlife, and they help clean the air that we breathe. What do you think about this one? It has an interesting shape. Caillou wasn't sure this was the right tree for their yard. What do you think, Rexy? Rexy and I think it's too small. Hmm, okay, something bigger. How about this one? It's an oak, another kind of deciduous tree. Deciduous? A deciduous tree has broad leaves like this one. They'll fall off in the fall and grow back in the spring. It'll lose a lot of leaves, Daddy, because it's a big, big tree. Hmm, that's true. Maybe we should find something a little smaller. This one's a paper birch. See how the bark around the tree looks a little like paper? Do you like it? It's too papery. Daddy showed Caillou many, many trees, but none of them seemed right to Caillou. How about one of these, Caillou? This is the one, Daddy! This is the one! A maple tree, just like our old one. It's perfect. Excuse me, sir. We'd like to take this tree, please. That's great. I'll be right over. I like your drawing, Rosie. Oh, look, Rosie. Daddy and Caillou are back. And they brought something special home with them. Uh. Look, Rosie, our new tree. Where are we going to plant it, Daddy? We'll find a nice spot for it in the backyard. We've already got the shovels ready and the wagon. What do you need my wagon for? We're going to give the tree a ride to the backyard so we don't have to carry it. It's very heavy. Caillou liked the idea of giving the tree another ride. This will be the second wagon ride for our tree. First in our car, and now in my wagon. I think this is a good spot. The tree will have plenty of room to grow here. Can I help you dig? Dig! Rosie, too! <laughs> okay, but I have to warn you, digging is hard work. We like hard work, don't we, Rosie? Arr, mateys, let's dig then, and maybe we'll find buried treasure in these parts. <laughs> Woo! Digging is hard work. It sure is. But we're ready. Yay! <sighs> there. Now we need to fill the hole with soil. Caillou, Rosie, you can help bring the soil over here. Caillou liked the sound of that. He and Rosie loved playing in dirt. Look, Rosie, I'm a truck. There. So, what do you think, Caillou? Do you like it? Yes, I like it. With a little water and sunshine, this tree should grow up big and strong. Like Rosie and me. That's right, Caillou. You'll all grow up together. Caillou suddenly noticed he wasn't the only one who liked their new tree. Look, birdies! They like our new tree, too. 
the birds couldn't agree more. Caillou's new tree was a wonderful addition to the yard. Caillou saves water. Caillou was always learning interesting things at preschool. Today he was learning about water. Water falls from the sky as rain. But where does it go after that? It waters plants and flowers and trees. Right. The rain sinks into the ground. It waters plants, just like Caillou said, and eventually runs back into lakes and rivers. Then it evaporates and rises up where it collects in clouds and gets ready to... Fall down like rain again. Right. Wow. What do we use water for? Drinking. Taking baths. Brushing our teeth. And washing dishes. Yes. We use a lot of water every day. But it's important that we try to use less water so that there will be enough for all those who need it. People and animals and even plants. Caillou really wanted to try to use less water at home, but he wasn't sure how to do that. Miss Martin, how can I use less water? We're going to talk about that on Monday. Why don't you think about it over the weekend and see what ideas you can come up with? Okay, I will. Bye. Bye, Caillou. Rosie, good job. Hi, Daddy. What are you doing? I'm just washing the lettuce. No, Daddy, don't. <laughs> no, Daddy. <laughs> Miss Martin says we should use less water. Well, she is right about that. No, Mommy. Don't turn on the water. What? We're saving water. No, Mommy. No, no, no. <laughs> no, Gilbert. No water. Go ahead, Gilbert. You can have a drink. Gilbert is thirsty, Rosie. Sorry, Gilbert. I've got to wash the lettuce so we can eat it. I think you're going to have to think of another way to save water. Okay. Thinking of ways to save water was harder than Caillou thought it would be. I'm going to save water by not taking any more baths. I know you're trying to do a good thing, Caillou, but you still have to take your bath. Maybe I could stop brushing my teeth. <laughs> no, but we could save water by not filling the bathtub as much and by turning off the tap while we brush our teeth. Mommy, the tap is dripping. So it is. Thank you for telling me. You know, we can also save water by fixing that leaking tap. Not very much water. It's just dripping a teeny tiny bit. It's not such a tiny bit when you add up all those drops. I've got an idea. Why don't we collect the drips overnight and see how much water a dripping tap wastes? It'll be an experiment. Yeah, okay. The next morning, Caillou was very excited to see how much water was in the bucket. Whoa! Mommy, the bucket is full! And that's not all. I emptied it two times during the night into this bigger bucket. The tap dripped all that water? Wow, that's a lot! All that water would have just dripped down the drain and been lost. So by fixing this little leak, we can save that much water. Which we can use for washing the floor, or the windows, or filling Gilbert's water dish. Maybe our other taps are leaking too. I'm going to check and see. Hmm. Caillou, come inside. 
I think the sky is leaking. Caillou thought Daddy was right. The clouds were dripping water just like the leaky bathroom tap. Then Caillou had a wonderful idea. What are you up to, Caillou? I'm saving water. Lots of water. Oh, Gilbert. Caillou, what a clever idea that was. Wow, look, Rosie. Ooh, I collected lots and lots of water. So, can I use this water to water my plants? Mm-hmm. And can I have all my pots and pans back? <laughs> yeah. You know, Caillou, instead of using pots and pans, we could get a really big barrel to collect rain in. I went and bought a rain barrel just like this. We put it in the backyard, and the next time it rains, the barrel will fill right up with rainwater. That's wonderful, Caillou. What a very smart idea. Daddy says we can use the rainwater to water our garden and fill our wading pool and the bird bath, too. Wait a minute. Miss Martin, the tap is leaking. We need to fix it because it's wasting water. Why, Caillou, you're right. We'll have to get that fixed right away. Thank you. Caillou was very proud of his ideas for saving water. Every little drop adds up. <laughs> spending the day with his grandma. He especially loved looking for treasures in her attic. Ooh. <laughs> grandma, look! I'm a magician! Abracadabra! Let me fix this up for you. Caillou was excited about being a magician. He wanted to do really amazing things. You look very dashing. How about practicing your magic outside while I do my yard work? Okay. This is certainly making a mess on the lawn. Abracadabra! They disappeared! Hooray! They certainly have. Abra 
Abracadabra! Flowers grow! I think this kind of magic doesn't happen right away. Plant magic takes a long time. Do you think you could make a lunch disappear? Yes. Grandma, would you like a banana? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Abracadabra! <gasps> it disappeared! What a good trick. I know another one. I'm going to turn this soup into mush. Abracadabra! Bravo! Caillou knew lots of little magic tricks, but he wanted to come up with something really amazing to show everyone. I'll throw this in the garbage for you, Grandma. Uh-uh. That's not garbage. But it's all gushy and yucky. I need it for my garden. Your garden? Come on, I'll show you. Is that a garbage can? No, it's a composter. I put in food scraps, like fruit and vegetables, and breadcrumbs and eggshells. But no meat and no dairy. That means no cheese or milk. I throw in grass clippings, too, and a little water. It must be really yucky in there. Ah, but that's the surprising thing. Inside this composter, all the messy, gooey stuff turns into something totally different. Like a magic trick? <laughs> yes, it is rather like a magic trick. Would you like to see what it turns into? Yes, please. It's dirt. All those things turn into dirt? It's not dirt. It's called compost, and it takes weeks and weeks to happen. A composter makes compost. That's right. Compost is nice, rich soil that helps my plants to grow. It's like plant food. Wow! And by putting food scraps into my composter, I'm sending less garbage to the garbage dump. That is the best magic trick ever! <laughs> it sure is. Caillou couldn't wait to try this magic trick out himself. Caillou, what are you up to? I'm gonna show you the best magic trick ever. Potato skins, bread crusts, corn, but no cheese. That's dairy. <laughs> Nessie! What kind of magic trick is this, Caillou? I'm gonna change all of this yucky stuff into plant food. Oh, we need to get a composter to do this trick. Hmm, I'm not sure why, but okay, Caillou. very hard for weeks and weeks. But everything looked just the same. He was starting to think his magic trick wouldn't work at all. You're doing wonderfully, Caillou. Just remember, plant magic takes a long time. Better give it one more month. Okay. Caillou waited for a whole month. It seemed like days and days. 30 days, to be exact. Yeah! But the wait was finally over. Come on, everybody. 